Hi, I'm Austin, a mechanical engineer at Formlabs. In this video, I will demonstrate how to read the results of a bed temperature tuning print on a Fuse One generation printer. Of the many variables in the SLS printing process, the bed temperature is among the most important. Small adjustments in bed temperature can have noticeable impacts on dimensional accuracy, surface finish, and mechanical properties of the finished parts. The bed temperature tuning process consists of a diagnostic print that runs each part at a different bed temperature. We then inspect the parts to identify the best adjustment to apply to the printer for optimal results. It's important to note that this adjustment varies from printer to printer, so it's necessary to run this diagnostic on any machine you plan to print with. This procedure is highly recommended when setting up a printer to run a new material for the first time. You may also run this diagnostic when troubleshooting certain print defects. To ensure the results of the bed temp tuning test are accurate, the print needs to be run with the appropriate refresh rate for your material. You may need to age your powder prior to running this test. For more details on the requirements for your material, check out our support resources linked in the description for the most up-to-date information. It's necessary to media blast the parts prior to inspection. The specifics of the media blasting won't influence the results. You'll notice during post-processing that the powder cake is harder to break apart on the parts printed at a higher bed temperature. The loose powder is also relatively easy to clean from the surface as there is no applied surface armor in this diagnostic print. These flat parts are necessary for regulating the temperature during the print, but are not necessary for evaluating the results, and they can be discarded. For this demo, we will be using Nylon 12 printed on two different Fuse 1 Pluses. To get started, we will arrange the plaques from coldest to hottest. There's a number printed on the bottom of each plaque indicating the offset from the nominal bed temperature. Minus 2C, minus 1C, 0C, plus 1C, plus 2C. As the bed temperature decreases, the likelihood of rough surface finish on the cones increases. Likewise, as the bed temperature increases, there is a greater likelihood of dimpling or pitting on the top surface of small features. Starting from the hottest plaque and going down, looking at the cones, we want to see the first instance of obvious rough surface texture on multiple cones. Starting at the plus 2C plaque, looking at the cones from multiple angles, we see no obvious rough surface texture on any of them. All the cones are smooth. Now we will look at the plus 1C plaque. Similarly, all of the cones are very smooth with no obvious rough surface finish on any of them. On the 0C plaque, we start to see a couple of examples of mildly rough surface compared to other cones. This tells us that we are approaching the optimal bed temperature adjustment for this printer. Looking at the minus 1C plaque, we have several examples of very obvious rough surface finish on the cones. Based on this, the first evidence of rough surface finish was at 0C, but it only affected a small number of cones and was not very obvious. On the minus 1C plaque, there are many examples of rough surface finish. Based on this finding, we say that the optimal setting is between 0C and minus 1C, or minus 0.5C for this printer. To confirm my choice of bed temperature adjustment, I will look at the grid side of both plaques. For 0C, there is no obvious pitting and very mild dimpling on the grid. Same is true for the minus 1C plaque. Therefore, minus 0.5C in between these two is also not too hot and should be the correct bed temperature adjustment. I'll repeat this process for my second printer. Arrange the plaques from coldest to hottest and starting at the plus 2C plaque, I'll look at the cones and notice that none of them have rough surface finish. So plus 2C is too hot going to plus 1C. Likewise, all of the cones are perfectly smooth. So plus 1C is also too hot. Going down to 0C, we observe the same result. All of the cones are very smooth. For minus 1C, the results are the same. Smooth cones all the way around. Lastly, on the minus 2C plaque, we see our first evidence of rough surface finish affecting multiple cones. This indicates that the optimal adjustment for this printer is minus 2C. And lastly, to confirm my choice, looking at the grid side, there is no pitting and very mild dimpling of the top surfaces at the intersections of the grid. I want to reassure you that the defects that you see on the optimal temperature plaque do not represent the surface quality that you will get from your finished parts. The purpose of this diagnostic is to amplify surface defects to show a clear signal when the temperature is not ideal. Now that we've found the optimal bed temperature adjustment for our printer, we can apply the adjustment through the printer UI. With the adjustment applied, the printer is now ready for printing. If you have any questions or issues, 
please check out our support resources or contact Formlab support. Happy printing.